What's up guys? Mikey in the building. Uh, like always, hope you guys had a great day today. I'm going to be going over NIVF. I thought this stock was phenomenal. Okay. Uh, I was a little weary about it in the beginning, but I definitely, uh, I took a stab at it and I took a pretty good stab at it. You know, you know me, I like to soak. So when I'm able to actually have some time to build a position, then I get super excited. I'll break down the daily real quick before I hop into the book. But Originally, I thought this was going to do just a micro clear out and then maybe potentially fade, right? So this was the micro clear out, right? What's a micro clear out? That's anything just clearing out and then potentially stuffing from there. But that did not happen on this one. Okay, so uh, a couple important levels, right? Previous day high, cool. But uh, I went to go look over for uh, the day one VWAP on this, which was 170. I don't have anything showing me. I just kind of really quick go back get an idea area it could be off by a few pennies or what and then go from there okay this one was really great too because you know if you guys were watching this when this was being traded let me go to the one minute real quick uh, actually up here this was being traded uh, if you guys saw the price action this one you know, went up halted halted again halted down gap down trade a little sideways and then uh, you know played that kind of game a little bit over and over halted again Halted down, opened up, restuffed, and then you know proceeded to just kind of fade off for the rest of the day. But now we have this thing day two opens above yesterday's close on the daily, actually starts to crank up some volume, pulls back, consolidates, does not break down. Okay, that was really great. They actually you know now diving into the book, they had a really good controlled walk down right here on this. All right, it was pretty nice to be able to see this. They had a nice controlled walk down right here, over here, and then over here, and then again over here. Now, if you zoom in on this, right, they did actually sweep this. They removed the liquidity off this book over here, and then it finally consolidated. So this was that area that I was able to actually soak. They had a really nice bidder over here, okay. Uh, in the beginning, they had about 16K plus or minus with the level 2 is showing. And then again, 164 started to get a little heavier. You know, I was willing to risk this bidder. Okay, so I sized accordingly, and I was able to actually get a, uh, a pretty good position on this one. I was really happy with it. Okay, so this accumulated for about, uh, it started, you know, about 5 to 10 minutes total if you started from here almost. So roughly under 10 minutes of this consolidating. So this is what it looked like over here, you know. I really like to draw a breakdown zone. So this broke down and then popped over this breakdown zone, reclaimed it, okay? Reclaimed this breakdown zone right here and then started to consolidate above it, all right? And this is where on the book, they created this sandwich where they have some support and they have an offer. So I like to call this the little sandwich, right? This was great, especially after this controlled walk down. Once these controlled walkdowns are starting to be removed, I like to see them get tested in these areas. And then you can see how thin this got and how quickly it shot up 10 cents after it started to break out. And then go ahead and test this upper liquidity. Now, this liquidity was being removed too. So once this thing started to go, it started to go a little bit parabolic, which was phenomenal. A really big level that I was actually looking for to see how it would react was against those 190s. And this thing did not stuff at 190s. It just did a lower volume pullback, which you'll see, you know, for, for you guys who like the candlesticks, uh, right over here, okay, in this area. So it actually, you know, uh, broke out and then pulled back right here. And then th this low volume pullback right here after that, showing signs of, of, of a seller's weakness. And then it went and can continued putting some higher lows. And it was really great, all right. Um, they did a lot of trickery over here and this air particular area against two, right? Where they had some support, they pulled it, they had some support and they did a little book flip right here on the offer side, but this still did not break down and this sweep the book, reclaim this area, started to consolidate over here, pull back, retested these areas right here of consolidation. And then you can see some more bid support come over here on the book. I thought this was phenomenal. 
you know, to stay in the trade for a while was really great. Even when these deeper pullbacks happen, you know, it's like uh, when 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 things are breaking out, it's like, hey, they can go parabolic up, 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 up only, right? But then it's like at one point is when when is the top going to happen, right? So I like to see pullbacks. I like to see pullbacks. I like to see how they're being reacted to once they pull back, right? Uh, a similar little walk down right here as well. And then the same type of action where they actually have this walk down and then finally that offer gets cleared out and these areas uh, become a lot thinner because before they were used for control and they start to break out again. Um, cannot believe that uh, this thing actually made new highs. It was kind of crazy because even when I trade off a of five, you know, this had one nice flag right here. I love these type of flag setups too, by the way. Let me just... You know, um, I talked to Jay Red about these two uh, a bunch where, you know, you see some volume come in and you see some some decreasing volume or a mixture of volume right here. And it kind of sets up close to, uh, to me, this was an important level 170 previous day VWAP. So this was a huge area to break. So once this kind of broke, now we're kind of looking at this area where it's kind of tight range, right? Tight range meaning, you know, if shorts got into this right here, they piled in and they were right here, okay, in this area. Kind of seeing this not breaking out anymore and then maybe potentially getting in for some short, maybe some retail shorts right there. Um, but after that, they cleared it and started to just really put in a lot of higher lows and, and continue. But I, I was I was amazed. Uh, I was super happy to hold a core onto this one. You know, I did have a 165.9 on this one. I posted that on Twitter too, so uh, just the average though. But um, yeah, that was great. Um, you know, after here, 170s, you know, if you really kind of go back and try to, to break down, you know, more of that consolidation area right here, you know, there's not a lot of volume up here into, uh, that high, right? 280. So, you know, this had some pre-market structure and then kind of just open up and dump. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty much thin right here. So, you know. This is really something good for me to even learn from in the sense of what kind of daily this is. So, you know, after that, main goal is this 280s highs actually making a, a new high on the daily. But after that, this book did, uh, the characteristics of this did start to change. You know, uh, there was a lot more heavy selling pressure coming down on this. And then, you know, stocks do put in some lower highs, right? And then this offer came in. There's not a lot of appetite anymore on this one, okay? And they definitely uh, held it down again with this one. And then there wasn't a lot of bid support anymore. It was a lot different when, you know, when we actually had some front runners and spoof bids on this. Someone was 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 really helping this guy out, all right? Uh, helping the overall price action on this one. So really good to see, you know, once these bids kind of leave, these lower highs get put in. And then you kind of start seeing how, you know, the book on the offer side starts to get really heavy. And if there's no more appetite or buyers stepping up, you kind of slowly start to see these bids just start to get filled more over. And you kind of see how heavy the book stays on the offer side. So this was a phenomenal play, phenomenal return. Uh, really extremely happy with this trade today. Uh, you know, uh, there, Pauly, Pauly got me. Didn't really get me. I just went green to red. You know, I, I did take uh, Pauly out of the morning um, once I saw some right zooming in right here once I saw some of this structure down here kind of uh, uh, sellers get absorbed and then uh, seller exhaustion I, I did take a stab right I had 658s on this one I couldn't grab a lot of size on this one it's very spready very whippy so I just took a couple a couple of lots on this one um, and then again you know I just I, I tried it again and that's where I failed so I Believe it or not, I went to uh, green to red on this trade, but that's okay because I traded small size. I, I didn't put a lot of risk on this one, so there wasn't a lot of uh, exposure. So when it failed and went red against me, um, I pretty much just gave back my whole move gain that I got from taking these early ads, which, you know, kind of wish I didn't, but it happens, right? Um, I'm definitely, you know, not perfect, but clearly see... Uh, this I thought would have continued on here. So Polly, real quick, breaking down Polly. I thought we were gonna get some liquidity trap right here on the daily. Uh, that did not 
that did not happen, right? Seven sixties was was four sixteens VWAP day. So I thought maybe we could sustain that and break over that, but that did not happen. All right. Um, if I think maybe if we had some more time consolidating down here, potentially holding this, I thought this was some great structure, but you know, just maybe not a lot of too much, not a lot of volume on this one, uh, particularly right. Uh, twenty three mil in the day. You know, the first day did have twenty eight, but this is just kind of sold off. But I will be keeping this one on watch because this could set up, reset up, hold, maybe gap up. Who knows, right? I like these kind of setups, but when the structure and, and things kind of line up with that one. Um, again, bids did not follow up on this one. And then if you were watching this one or participating in this one, uh, this bid got sold into and, you know, halted down. Try to put in a lower high right here and then just continue to sell into any bid support that it had. And you can see how heavy this book is, right? You can see clearly that there's a lot of offers on this book and uh, especially if they try to hold it down right there. But I think this was definitely a trap right here too. When you see some stuff like this, if you see some type of control and you see these areas being retested and they pull that control and price action does not break out, that's a sign right there. So a couple of signs maybe to look out for, you know, um, I definitely look out for those, right? So you see the difference of, of how a walk down happened on NIVF right right down here and then these areas are being tested and it doesn't stuff kind of goes parabolic pulls back on some uh, light volume pullbacks pulls back over previous areas of interest and pivots and starts to continue so all right guys um that's all i got poly green the red nivf uh, massive return uh percentage wise on that one holding a core and actually uh taking a lot of um i definitely took a lot a lot of risk on this trade but uh, it was it was a it was a great one. All right, um, these other ones too. MTC might keep this one on watch for tomorrow. We'll see. There's definitely some control, and then more control, and then it actually closed uh, over 220. So I'll be watching this one. You know, MTC daily wise. Uh, we'll see what this one does. Uh, definitely needs to clear 240s. This was a uh, 31 VWAP day. So maybe if we MTC starts setting up over where there was a lot of liquidity and volume then we can go start uh testing these upper levels over here and uh, and i'll get some more levels out for for everyone in the room uh for tomorrow later but all right guys much love peace out mikey